Welcome to ILTV's Israel Weekly, a show in which we debate the major issues taking place in Israel. Our topics today are the ongoing escalating violence in Gaza and Europe's interference in Khan al -Akhmar. Joining me in the studio are Chairman of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies, Dr. Martin Sherman, political advisor and peace activist, Nir Avishai Cohen, Hi. Jerusalem Councilman and Chairman of the Meo Khadim Party, Aryeh King, and strategic consultant, Hod Kovi. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you for inviting us. So last night, firefighters and security forces tried to put out seven fires near Israeli towns along the Gaza border, and they were set off by flammable balloons and incendiary kites from the Gaza Strip. Since the Great March of Return began on March 30th, these explosive devices have caused the complete destruction of thousands of acres of forests, crops, and livestock on Israeli land, and have cost millions of shekels in damages. More than 20 people have been hit by live fires, which are causing a health hazard to residents in the area who are breathing in this intense smoke on a daily basis. The military has used drones and other high-tech solutions, but the problem has continued to escalate. On Thursday, the IDF announced the deployment of additional troops and also Iron Dome air defense batteries being sent to Gaza. Abbas just announced he will stop all funding to the Gaza Strip, which could make matters even worse. Netanyahu spoke at a press conference on Thursday. <laughs> וכתוצאה מזה, מהחנק הזה, נוצרו שם לחצים. כתוצאה מהלחצים, החמאס אה, מעת לעת אה, תוקף את ישראל בעצימות יחסית נמוכה, אבל אה, החנק הולך וגדל. אבו מאזן אה, מתערב בכל דרך בניסיונות של האו"ם אה, להקל על המצוקה בעזה, כולל עכשיו, כולל היום, ובזה כמובן אה, מדינות רבות, היום אני יכול להגיד גם באו"ם, המדינות התורמות, אה, so the first question I have for you is, why do you think the IDF has not done more to prevent these attacks over the past couple of months? Nir, I'll start with you. Yeah, I will try to answer uh, your question. First, we have to understand, and I keep saying it in this studio time after time, there is no military solution to the Asian Gaza Strip. There is no military solution. The only solution that will solve this issue is an agreement. Gee, why have you never thought of that with, before? Just, just a second. The agreement with Hamas, with the PA, and the first condition to this agreement is to end the blockade on uh, Gaza Strip. We cannot uh, expect that there will be a quiet and there will be no violence as long as the, um, the, the blockade is keep you're, going you're inverting on Gaza cause Strip. And effect. You're inverting <coughs> cause and effect. The so, blockade, Mar the blockade is the result of the violence not the cause of the violence. The opposite. No, 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 people didn't, it wasn't a, an Israeli womb to impose a quarantine on Gaza. And any, in my opinion, any suggestion to remove the blockade is anti-Semitic because it suggests the Jews should die meekly. The blockade is so there to I, save Jews. I'm anti-Semitic? The, the suggestion to remove the blockade is anti-Semitic because it suggests the Jews should die meekly. The blockade, the blockade, the blockade, the life of the we, Jews. We've, the we've, we've already seen that. You know, every time Israel has made a benign assumption, it's always come back to bite it. And the problem why the Gaza, the, the fighting goes on, the problem there is conceptual, not operational, or at least it's operational only because it's conceptual. And the question is how you look at the Palestinians. If you continue to look at the Palestinians in the basilic way they've been used, looked at for the last quarter of a century as prospective peace partners, there'll be no solution. If you look at them as, as, as implacable enemies and uh, derive your policy from, from, from that perspective, then there is a solution. So what do you, what do you suggest? What do you suggest? I said that the solution to Gaza yeah. is, not the re is not the reconstruction, but the deconstruction. It's retaking of Gaza mm -hmm. and... To occupy uh, Gaza. Uh, to, to temporarily occupy it until you manage to, to, to remove the Arab population, preferably, and do preferably, you, preferably do you by what they want to do. Uh, life of uh, thousands of people. Doctor, one what second. You Doctor, there, there, will, there will either be there will either be there will be Arabs in Gaza, or Jews in the Negev. Mm -hmm. There won't be both. Doctor Sherman just said that if you see Palestinians as potential peace partners, you're in trouble. How do you feel about the statement? I think he's absolutely right. I was born one kilo, one kilometer from Gaza in a kibbutz called Kibbutz Salomim. 
When I was a young, in, in my youth, in 16 years, 15 years, I was walking by myself to the central of Gaza Strip. I was hitchhiking in, the, in, in Sajahia, in Jebalia. I was cycling with my bicycle to my sister living in central, in the Tsarim uh, settlement. All the travel started when we started to withdraw from central of town, later from the main roads, and later, 14 years ago, when we uh, uh, transferred the entire Jews from the Gaza Strip. The only, All the way, the only way is to return to Gaza Strip and to divide the Gaza Strip to four or five different areas. And yes, it would be much more maybe dangerous to our soldiers, but there is no question that the security and the peaceful for the Jews, to the Israelis living in Israel, uh, around Gaza Street, but even in Be'er Sheva and in Etivot in Ashkelon, would be much more peaceful life, because this is the only way to take out the, the weapon, the missiles. Yes, we might even suffer from uh, people, you know, so they will be killed, but... Thousands, you know, thousands of people. Yes, thousands, thousands of people. Thousands of people. This is the only way, really, we, are, we know who are, is surrounding us. Exactly like Martin said, said, they are our enemies. If they are sending uh, balloons or if they are sending missiles, they are enemies. They have one goal, to see us, not in Israel, not just in Kibbutz Salomim, but not also in Jerusalem and uh, any other place in Israel. And if we want to fight back, it's by fighting, not by, you know, talking and looking for all kind of other uh, temporary I solutions. Think, Paul, what do you feel about I that? I think that your views leads to nowhere. No, oh, well, that's such I, a I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. <laughs> I don't think that, that the leaders of the Palestinians uh, really likes us and really hope for good for us. They don't, don't, the leaders don't. But we have to look at the people. People don't count. Wait, let, let me let finish. Me let me finish. They count. They count. We have to, to look at the, uh, the position of the Palestinians today. They are, they are really blocked because it's the first time that the United States totally against them. They, they have nothing to do or to well, get which, violence. Which they greatly deserve. Just a minute. Or to get violence or we can take this uh, uh, point of time to make a difference, to try to uh, uh, take this situation and change it. To talk to them. If we continue the, the same way, who are you going to talk to? If you, let me finish. Who are you going to talk let to? Let me finish. Oh, yeah, if we continue the same way of violence, ten years from now, twenty years from now, we'll be in the same place. We have to do something different. No, exactly. And different is to take this this opportunity that what that opportunity? we might what that we have we have to to think of uh, to think of uh, sitting with them. To come with initiative, oh, uh, maybe yeah. from the United States. That's what we've done for the last quarter of the century. century. We cannot, we we can, Martin, you know, you we know, cannot avoid justice. I want to tell you something Martin. about the leadership and the people. Okay, the, the the Palestinian people are not the victims of their leadership. They are the crucible which formed that leadership and from which that leadership emerged. So let's let's. Uh, I don't uh, agree with you. Uh, look at uh, look, look at the polls. Look at the polls. Uh, you you know a hundred people. Look at the polls. The polls all support <coughs> the terror activities. They support financing the the. Uh, terrorists in prison. This is not People true. Are you don't think it was the same, the same way in Egypt? But listen, we cannot, we cannot, avoid, we cannot yeah. avoid from the interview that the leader of Hamas, Yichia Sinwar, gave last week to Idiot Achronot. He said on that interview that he doesn't want another war. He wants agreement with us. So this... So let him agree. This statement... So let okay, him agree. This state, yeah. So we have, we have to agree? get an agreement with the Hamas, <laughs> with the PA, and they are... They want the disagreement. The, the, the PA doesn't want the Hamas to agree. Still, only both the, of them, what is it both of them? Yechia San Sinwar, the leader of Hamas, Hamas said do. he doesn't want all another war. Gazans, you cannot Gazans, avoid from this all, statement. All, all, and unfortunately, oh, really? unfortunately uh, the leaders in Israel uh, are avoiding uh, from that great, statement. Great yeah. they, they are not willing to speak with him and they are not doing enough. They are not doing enough to to reach an agreement and to solve the problem in Gaza. The people in both borders, or on the both, uh, both sides of the border in Gaza will keep, um, feel miserable and will keep suffer if we will not arrive or achieve you, you know an agreement. You, you, you know what? Uh, uh, all, all the people in Gaza have to do to improve their lives dramatically is nothing. All they have to do is stop trying to kill Jews. All they have to do is convince the Jews they don't want to kill them, and their lives will improve dramatically. The problem is you're, you're being led astray. All they need, 
All they need now is for, for the fighting to stop. They are miserable. To re, re, they, are pro, they, are, <laughs> they have four hours of electricity who's every, that? every, who's every who's day. That? What do you expect them to do? What do you expect them to do? For, I'll tell you, it's all for the people, the people who pushed for two states or the people who are responsible for what's happening in the world. Thank you. We have to move on to our next topic. Cannot avoid that when we reach war from Gaza Strip, they choose immediately the Hamas. They choose. There are elections, and they oh, choose now the, the Hamas. Hamas ruling Why? Gaza Strip, and we because, have to speak because with it's not it's it's not the best solution in, in, at this time. But they it's, are it's never the best life. solution to to. You, do you agree with me that their life today is much more miserable than 15 years ago? Yes, I agree. Because okay. of the blockade. So because of no, the blockade. No, no, 15 no. years ago. Yeah, because of the blockade. 15 years ago, we were there. Israel was there, yeah. and they had much better life. I talk with Arabs from Gaza, But and they tell me they call my father. They call me. We know them. Without, they are just begging the blockade, us to come back to Gaza. The situation in Gaza they, will be much better. They are better. dreaming we, to we see Israeli troops in Gaza Center. Let's just um, close this topic. Just say one sentence in a nutshell how you would summarize to, uh, to uh, aid in this uh, Gaza. What do you think, Nir? Israel should have an agreement with Hamas. This is the only solution. There is no other solution. We will keep talking about it week after week about the military solution. No military solution and everyone... So you mean that the government. great IDF can't Hold. Hold. deal Hold. with that? Hold on. Hold. I think there's always been two options for us. One is what you think. Just keep up the violence and never end it. Ending it. We think about something that will be different. Your something that we have to try. That we have to try. Quarter of a century. You, you have to remember. Destruction, both to Jews you and have Arabs. to remember that But even in Egypt, before we, we made the peace agreement, everyone was against us. Everyone wants to kill the, the Israelis, and now they think different. The only, the only, yes. reason, the only reason. The only reason. that, the, the, that uh, the Egyptians have changed is just by luck. The fact that Sisi took over from, from Morsi. If Morsi was still in power, if Morsi comes back to power, we will regret pu pulling out of Sinai. So you are against the peace agreement with Egypt? Oh, uh, very much. <laughs> I think that, uh, that the best thing for the civilians living in Gaza Strip is that they will see back the Israeli troops in, 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 in Gaza, around Gaza, inside the center of town, and then they would return back to their life when, when they could go with their own car from Gaza Strip to Be'er Sheva to Tel Aviv. All the bad things that happened to the Arabs in Gaza Strip happened because of all kinds of solutions like we heard here, to reach war, to peace agreement, disagreement. Every agreement just caused them to, uh, to, a better, uh, to go to a, a worse uh, uh, condition of life. And if they want, the Arabs, and they want to get better life, They know they need to see Israel returning, controlling all so, of Gaza. So let's return yeah. to right, Jordan and to Syria. Thank you very Why much. Not? We're going to have to move on to our next topic. Thank you for your input. Um, last week, Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman told Europe to stop interfering in Israel's <coughs> plans to demolish the illegal West Bank Bedouin village, Khan al -Akhmar. Europe has been playing a large role in opposing the demolition of this village. The parliament stated that the forced relocation is a war crime. The European policy chief, Federica Mogherini, issued statements against the move to the media. So Lieberman has countered these claims and said that the current location, which is next to a major highway, actually puts the residents in danger. Europe and the Palestinians are claiming that the alternative site for the settlement is near a garbage dump, and they've warned that relocating would make it impossible for that area to become part of the boundaries of a future Palestinian state. <laughs> إلا غير ممالكة قوية وإن شاء الله أننا ما نطلع حتى لو هدوا رايحين نبني حتى لو هدوا مرة ومرتين رايحين نبني All right, let's start with you. Do you think that the Palestinians claim that moving the settlement just a couple of kilometers away will prevent a future peace in the region? Do you think that's an accurate assessment? It's not accurate. It's a, it's, I would say it's a nonsense issue to raise this uh, kind of claiming. Look, this is an illegal Arab settlement. And by, by the way, there are many like that. In this area where Khan al Khmari, there are tens of the same kind of illegal villages. And the only solution for them is exactly like we, I, I expect, expect from our government, is to enforce the law. And uh, if they relocate them, and people say that because we relocated to this uh, specific area, it will uh, avoid some peace agreement, This is a, uh, really, it's like, I don't even know how to deal with this matter because it's so unconnected and relevant to what's going on in the ground. Under the ground is a battle between Arabs that are trying to connect 
בית לחם in the south to Ramallah in the north, and we as Israelis want to connect מעלה אדומים and the Dead Sea to Jerusalem. In order to... Yes, in order to avoid any kind of two-state solution, because if we will build between Dead Sea, מעלה אדומים, and Jerusalem, forget it from all this nonsense of calling two states for two nations, because it's a hypocrisy. Let's face it. Thank you. It's not two states for two nations, and Nir will, Nir, will, Nir will agree with me, because it's two, it, two states. One state would be the, called the Palestinian state, would be Judenrein, without Jews, and the other state called Israel will be with Arabs, living in Yafo, in Haifa, in Umel Fakhem, and in everywhere in East Jerusalem. So why, why is this hypocrisy statement of two states for two nations? It's not, you know, once at all, at all we need to... Stop using it because Ni will admit the Arabs would continue living in Israel, but Jews will never live in Palestine. Nir, how do you respond to this? I want to thank you for your explanation because this is the real reason why Israel wants to evacuate Khan al-Akhmar. Because the evacuation of Khan al-Akhmar will damage, serious damage, uh, the two-state two solution. And this is the real reason why Israel wants to evacuate. That's first. So, 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 the High Court was so complicit. thank you very much for your explanation. You couldn't explain it better. Okay, and if someone in Israel wants the two-state two, two solution, we have <coughs> to keep, okay, Khan el Ahmad, we have to keep the settlement of the Arabs, and we have to evacuate yes, the Jewish But settlement. I have to Indeed. agree with them, because you're not in the middle of the negotiation. You don't have to give something now. But you have to think about the future. And in no, the future, it will be, so it will be so much you, more difficult, really much more difficult, difficult, difficult to, really to evacuate uh, Jewish I want settlement to go to than to evacuate Khan al-Ahmar. This is first. Second, the, um, the, the solution that Israel gave to Khan al-Ahmar people The, the other place is not proper. When Israel uh, evacuated the Jewish settlements, always Israel gave them a proper or a decent solution, and this, uh, in this issue, there is no decent all solution. All, all, all evacuees they, of God they just, are the they just solution. don't care. Really? don't care about the people. They throw away from their houses, and now they have to do, I don't know, they have to find a solution. So this is for sure not the right solution. Khan el Ahmar evacuation. You have to make a difference between the solution of the, of the place which <coughs> where well, they, they will move to, uh, maybe to change the place. It's different than decide now that we have to start the negotiation, a negotiation for two uh, countries to... to, to uh, both issues. It's, it's not, it's not now you don't have to give do nothing you, in the front. Do you think Lieberman has been effective um, in convincing Europe to back off? Obviously not. But, uh, you, you know, what my colleague has said now is totally ridiculous. The High Court of Israel is complicit in, in, in stopping the two-state solution, really, you know, because they're being evacuated after a High Court injunction. Uh, and, 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 the, and the point is, you, you know, if the whole two-state solution rests on leaving in place some uh, ramshackled uh, temporary buildings uh, for 100 people, it just shows how tenuous the whole thing is. The point is, you must decide whose side you're on. If you want, for instance, Malia Adumim, with nearly 50 million Jews, to be completely isolated 50, from... 50, uh, 50, sorry? 50,000. 50,000, yeah. yeah. What did I say? Million. 50, million. 50, <laughs> sorry, 50,000 50, 50, uh, Jewish, Jewish residents to be completely isolated from Jerusalem at the total mercy of the Palestinians, rather. Say so. Okay. I want to evacuate uh, my land, uh, like, like, uh, like uh, the rest of the, the Jewish okay, settlement you, you, in the West Bank, yes, right, and right. I think uh, the Palestinian <coughs> state should be in the West Bank without any you Jewish settlement. You didn't you know, answer my question. Yeah. Are you saying also Israel clean from Arabs? Why not? Why, why not? Why, why not? Why, why? 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 No, So what you're saying is we should have, we should have a mega Gaza on the fringes of no, Tel Aviv, overlooking Ben Gurion Airport. We should have two states, two states. I'm not going to remove citizens. What could possibly go wrong? No, no you, you, you are willing to move Jews from the Palestinian correct, state, but correct, not Arabs from Israel. Correct. Why? why? I will why? tell you why. Because right now in the West Bank, there is apartheid. There is military ruling. It's not, oh, a, it's not part of Israel. But we will enjoy from Israel. Okay, we will enjoy. But that's not an argument. They are not, they are not, not an argument. equal rights to, to, to Palestinians in the Stop. West Bank and to Jews in the, Jews in in the West Bank. In your two-state solution. They are not equal. In that's why because they're the enemy. The settlement are illegal. And they have to, we have to evacuate them in order to give the Palestinians their own state. And yes, why? I think... Why, why, why? why don't you have to move, because, why don't you just move the Arabs to give the Jews their own state? Because they deserve their own state, and that will give us quiet 
more than oh, we have now. For yes, sure. We've seen our left. The answer is why, 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 why are we, you, why you, are you, 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 you think that we need to transfer the Jews out from Malay Adumid, but no, we cannot take the Arabs from Sakhnin yeah. or Tamra out of Israel. That's, that's a great question. Defeat. We actually have to wrap up. So, uh, Nir, if you want to answer in one sentence, and then we could go around and just say how we would summarize this oh, we topic. Just, uh, no problem. I'll just answer that the Arabs in Israel, in Sakhnin, in Taiba, in Um al Fakhrim, they are citizens of Israel. And right now, in the West Bank, there is no any state. There is a military ruling. That is the answer. That's it. But, but, it, we but can't, okay, there will be a state. So give the Israelis, the Jews, if the a, a Palestinian citizenship. If the Palestinians will be, will be willing to accept the, the Jewish settlement in their country, we can ah, speak about so it. Nice but I'm not sure they will. But how would you summarize this topic? I think that, uh, that we must search always for the peace agreement but we don't have to do nothing now. If we sit and, and we decide the, the, the agreement, what to move, what to, to replace, uh, uh, which people to, to, uh, to stay in, in this country or, or the other one, uh, then we have to make some moves. But now it's, it's not the issue. Thank I, you. I, I want Dr. Sherman. The, the, the conflict cannot, be, the, the resolution of the conflict cannot be based on fictions. It must be based on the truth. And the truth is the Palestinians are not and never will be a prospective peace partner. They this will be the an impeccable enemy this and they must be the treated truth. as that. And that's the only way towards a resolution of the conflict. Are you? I think that uh, we need to uh, improve the enforcement of the, improve, sorry, the enforcement of the sovereignty of Israel in every area, in Judea and Samaria and in East Jerusalem. It's just a matter of time that we will uh, enact, I think, other areas of Judea and Samaria, like Gush Etzion, Maale Adumim, the Dead Sea, area e. and Area E especially. And therefore, if this is our goal, in these areas, like Khan al-Akhmar, we must enforce the law much than any other areas that we will get later to them also. Great, thank you. Well, that's all the time we have today for ILTV's Israel Weekly. I'd like to thank our guests, Dr. Martin Sherman, Nir Avishai Cohen, Arie King, and Hod Krovi. And thanks to all of you for tuning in today. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Israel English News and visit our website at ILTV.tv. I'm Yael Shear, and thanks for watching. <laughs>